Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. This is module 4 of first grade. Name first, please. Fill in the missing numbers to match the picture. Complete the number bond to match. So here we have boxes of pencils and there's going to be the we just know that these are groups of 10. So we're looking at this this side here. That's two tens, twenty. And this is a group of ten and three ones, which is thirteen. And to count all of them, this is an addition equation. We're going to count everything: ten, twenty, thirty, and three more is thirty-three. Right, so we completed the number bond, we filled in the missing numbers, and it all matches the picture. So here we have two different pictures of numbers. This is going to be 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 17. So here you see our addition equation is 17 plus this part here which is two tens, that's 20. And we can count the whole thing, 10, 20, 30, and seven is 37. Parts are 17 and 20, and the whole is 37. Now we can see our parts here are 10, plus these two tens, which is 20, and this is this is 8 more, so this is 28. And if we counted the whole thing together, it would be 10, 20, 30, and 8 is 38. And our number bond is going to have a whole of 38 with parts of 10 and 28. Now we're looking at quick 10s. Right, that's 10, 20, 30. So 30 is our first part. And then the other number is 10 and this is nine, right? Cause there's one guy missing or it would be a 10. So this is 19. So our parts are 30 and 19 and our whole, you might just already know it, but we can just count it. It's, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 9 is 49. So our total is 49 for our number sentence. On the next page, draw using quick tens and ones. Complete the number bond and the number sentence. So we're going to draw the picture, finish the number bond, and finish the number sentence. So now that we've given them place value charts, they've told us what to draw here. We need one ten, and we need seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then plus ten is just a ten. So there's our parts, seventeen and ten. And then we can just count it all in our picture. You might be able to just add this up in your head. But you can just count the picture too. That's why we drew it. So it's, so it's 10, 20. Count the, we always count the tens first. 10, 20, and 7 is 27. 27. And our addition equation is going to have add ends of 17 and 10 with a total of 27. Well, now this next one is going to be a bit of a puzzle. We know one of the parts is 19, and, but we don't know the other part. But we do know the total is going to be 39. So the whole in our number bond is 39, and we know one of the parts is 19. So let's draw it and see how much more we need to draw to get to 39. So let's draw the 19. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, let's draw tens first. 
So that's 19. If I add another 10, that's going to make two tens and nine, 29. I can, maybe I can add another 10, see what happens here. Now, how much do I have? 10, 20, 30, and 9. 39, that's what he wanted. So I just need two more tens. That's the other part. Two tens and no more ones. And so that's our missing add end, 20 here. And that's our missing part for our number bond, 20. Use arrow notation to solve. Now, this is the first introduction in homework for what will eventually be called the arrow way that we use a lot in second grade and even in third grade and and beyond and it's just a really a notation that helps you count up to add and write it down to show your work it's really one of the best ways to show your mental math so and this is just how you do it the arrow says this is what you this is the number you started with this is what you did to it and then what comes next is is what happened after you did something to it. You can either add or subtract with arrow way. There's other things you can do too. But right now we're just adding and subtracting. So 19, adding 10 to it, 29. So we're going to start here with 9 and we add 30 to it. We're going to get 39. And now here we have to figure out what's missing. Because we had to start with something and we added 10 more to get 38. Well, if 38 is 10 more, then what goes here, here, has to be 10 less than 38. So 38, and if you wanted, you could, if you want to, you could just draw the 38. 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you could say, okay, well, this had to be the 10 that I added, so this, what's left, it has to be what I started with. Two 10s and eight ones, 28. And the same kind of thing we're doing here, but now we have to go backwards. We have to figure out what we had to begin with. Before we added 20, we have to subtract 20 back out to see what we had before. Because this is going to be 20... The 31, that's going to be 20 more than this is. This side here is going to have to be 20 less. And that's going to give you, you can draw it, 10, 20, 31. That's 31. Now these, that's the 20 that we added. So that means we had to have this 10 and that, this 10 here, and that 1. We had to have those to begin with. That's 11. Use the dimes and pennies to complete the place value charts. So right here, we've got two parts that we're adding together. And we're looking at tens and ones for this first part here. There's one dime. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pennies. Pennies are ones, so that's eight. Dimes are 10 cents, so that's 110. Not 10 tens, because the dime is 10, but it's 110. It's one, the same as one group of 10 pennies. So, and then our other part over here, that's the box. That's this box. That's a 10, because that's a dime. And that's another 10. So there's two tens there, but there's no pennies. So it's two tens and zero, one, zero ones. And to add this together, how much is it? We just got to count it all. We have 10, 20, 30. So that's three tens, one, two, three tens. And then the ones we already know that there's eight pennies there. So that's eight ones, 38. 18 plus 20 equals 38.